So watch, I get to my grip. Should I sweep or submit? Sweep? Sweep? I'm going to lift some weight. His arm is open. Open your arm. It's a base. So what am I going to do? Arm formation. Yeah, the arm walks already there. Look, his arm is straight. So what am I going to do? I'm going to push his head. Escape to my side. Trap. Okay. And look, I'm so tight on the arm that he's not going to wiggle out. And now look, I start to attack. I know for the guys who are already doing this really well, use the top, always when you do a submission on the arm. Think about the nail, hammering the nail. And that's how I try to teach my students. I always want to put the pressure here where the thumb is. Not back of the hand, not on this side of the wrist, always here. Think about the nail, the thumb sticking out and you're hammering the nail. So if he turns his arm like this, so I want to put the pressure here, here, Yes, if he turns his arm like this, where's the pressure going? Here? Always hammering that nail back in. Picture his thumb sticking out, okay? So watch, when I'm here, I'm pushing directly up. Turn your wrist here a little bit. Yeah, now I'm pushing against that thumb. That's why he feels so much pain with such a little squeezing. Because I'm always putting the pressure right here. If he turns, the pressure's always being redirected to face against the thumb. Okay, so keep that in mind when you feel where, where's his thumb at. You'll feel with experience, you can feel where his thumb at, the guy's arm is going to break immediately. So I'm going to take a watch, squeeze it. So I have my grip. Lock hands. Now his hands are locked. He's shaped more like a square or a, roll, a ball, a circle. A circle is a roll, right? Escape my hip. Now he's going to face out. Face out. If I land the chip here and just give up, give me base, what should I do? Switch attack. His arm is out. Now he, he knows his arm is out. He'll bring it back in, lock his hands together, put me on my back. And the game is going to keep going on forever. He's going to base, I'm going to submit. He's going to lock his hands back together, I'm going to go back to the And the game's going to keep going until one of us gets what he wants. But the good thing is that I'm on offense and he's on defense. That's what matters. You know, take 10 bucks and shoot them out of the best goal in the world. One of them is going to go in if you keep attacking. Take 100 bucks and keep shooting. The guy's the best and you're the worst player. But I'm on offense. I can only win. He can only defend. Right? So that's why when I have this grip, he's defending. I'm on offense. It's a good trade. Okay? That's why I like to teach the grips for you guys to go to. Grab your partner again. Do the move again. But make sure if his arm is facing, your arm bar. If his arm is locked and he's defending, you're sweeping him. Don't try to arm bar him when his hands are locked. Don't try to sweep him when his hand is, is basic. You're wasting a lot of energy. Let's try it again. Okay. 